when the Lord began to open doors of ministry for me when the Lord began to show me his mercy on that wise it came with such level of speed I could no longer accommodate my schedules what is this new thing that is happening to me it's as if a curtain just opened everywhere Joshua Selman I know how seasons of greatness comes but can I tell you this while you wait cry but wait keep doing what he's asking you to do you sow the seed like a fool and you are sitting down and God can I tell you this nobody has exhausted his season yet the moment you get to that season of appearing then the, the next level starts with the same cycle again preparation and then manifestation then the next cycle of the next realm preparation you don't exhaust it look at our father in the lord bishop david Oedeko, when he was building the the faith tabernacle oh did he know another one was coming when baba devoy was building the old crown of redeem that one is a miracle already that is somebody's prayer point in many lifetimes but after enduring god now told him build three kilometers by three kilometers next instruction I remember those days in the ministry we used to sit on the ground on mats and then the days of Zaria and then now he's brought us into the city only God knows how many episodes of this greatness will happen in our lifetime that is why it's dangerous to over celebrate realms they would distract you there is a healthy way to celebrate and prepare because every time you attain a manifestation of a realm the preparation for the next realm should start immediately this is how champions live champions never plateau champions never rest as soon as they pat their back they know that you are beginning another circle listen to what i'm telling you some of you this is the reason why you rose up in ministry you rose up in your finances as soon as you made 1 million 10 million 100 million you just plateaued and said oh, my soul find rest no you look at our fathers in the lord today it's as if they are just starting ministry i returned back from enugu and i was seeing the posters of our father baba kumuyi everywhere i said at this age this man is still traveling and holding crusades as if he's trying to gain visibility please sir huh? let me give you an advice when people clap for you sustain the courage to tell them is enough because i'm already focusing on the training for the next season let me wrap up we're going to pray give us mark chapter 4 from verse 26 let me show you the three levels of stepping into your season of appearing mark chapter 4 from verse 26 please look up everybody never forget this spiritual formula we're about to pray and he said so is the kingdom of god as if a man should cast seed where into the ground 27 and should sleep <laughs> and rise up night and day and the seed should spring and grow up he knoweth not is it in your bible there now here is the progression for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself now when it has to do with bringing forth fruit three levels first the blade then the air after that the full-blown corn in the air when you begin to step into seasons of greatness everything will not happen at once there are levels first the air you will begin to see God honor you there are politicians today for instance who started as local government chairman when they won they celebrated and God told them be careful don't stop here there is still another height and then maybe they went to state house of assembly and so on and so forth and many are still on their way transiting there are business people I remember for some of you here you will sit down and tell yourself ah I just made one million and one million will look like forever for you you are happy coming from your background this is a miracle and God says celebrate but a day will come you'll be feeding nations 
a day will come you will sign a million dollars two million dollars and give nations and they will ask you how did it feel the first day you say i still can remember it was pastor nathaniel bassi dear friend and brother who was sharing about the things that were happening to him that a time came in this nation when he was under his late pastor nobody knew anything about him there are footballers who suffered as if god did not call them every club side pushed them away and they kept enduring and when their season came just one person looked at them and said come and that was it they never returned again we are going to pray let me share with you a story many years ago i went to a place called premier hotel in ibadan when i went there um it was night and i didn't even have the money to pay for any place for accommodation and i'm telling you i said god what is this i entered the place looked around you know wonderful place and i was seeing people and i could not pay for the place i could not even pay for any place looking around i was just hanging around i couldn't hang out in inside so I was outside and then eventually I made up my mind I said I can't stay like this till morning there was a church somewhere I trekked and I found a church that was doing night vigil I joined them to do that vigil so that I don't waste there's no need wasting time I tell you this and then a few years later I would go to preach within that region and right from I think it was from the airport or so I can't remember the whole story now I saw people greeting me, protocol people with cars, and they were leading me to my place of stay. Guess where they took me? When I saw myself climbing that hill, tears filled my eyes. And I said, oh God, only a fool says there is no God. When they dropped me there, they took me to their highest suit, and I was there. I usually travel with my people. And they were outside they were swimming there was a program in the evening you know but these guys were swimming playing table tennis and i was watching them from that place i said it's not your fault my dear people they were happy enjoying themselves by the pool and i was watching i said oh dear but what if be because of what happened at that moment i said you know what this ministry will just fold it that's all do you know how many people are cheering you in the spirit and saying for our sake don't give up we have been waiting for you do you know how many unborn children who are saying doctor you will be the consultant who will deliver me or in case it's cs make sure you keep giving your best do you know how many people who are saying businessman it is your scholarship that is going to raise me to have an encounter don't give up there are nameless faces in the spirit joining the angels to say you have come too far you have come too far apostle you don't know how many times I've failed do not worry there is something called failing forward look up if you enter a plane and the plane is moving and you go back to the back seat are you going backward is the plane moving forward even though inside the plane you are moving back overall are you going backward that's what we call failing forward there is failure as an event there is failure as a person I'm speaking here tonight to a man of God who went for a crusade saying God called you and you went there nobody was healed only one person was saved the people said don't ever tell us God called you again and you return back wondering or a prophet who prophesied 10 cases you got zero you didn't everything you saw was wrong and you are wondering Lord did you really call me what of a businessman who five businesses you lost money you failed completely I bring you words of comfort in this kingdom there is something called the season of preparation and the season of appearing during your season of preparation you discover God you discover you you discover that rod that you will be using to do mighty things for the kingdom can I tell you this no matter how many times you fall don't throw that rod that is the rod that you will part the Red Sea with make sure
by the time you get to the red sea you don't get there alone get there with your rod your rod can be your voice your rod can be your hands your rod can be your brain your rod can be your character everything that can help you today we thank god for the privilege of this rod he has so trained us to hold it was once the rod of moses but when he handed it over to god it became the rod of god never call the rod of moses again it is called the voice of you but when you hand it over to god it's now called the voice of god it will now sing songs that will go around the world it will now preach messages that will go around the world be careful when you laugh at people who are in their seasons of training you may be laughing at your destiny helper and bury your head in shame forever there are people who laughed at young people thinking they will never rise there are people who laughed at business people can can i tell you this sometimes god allows people to witness your failure so that they will be the defenders of your greatness they will say no 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 i saw this man of god i knew when he held a crusade that nobody was there i saw this business person i my mother even gave him 20 naira don't be ashamed of your season of tears the scar on your hand today you've heard me say it what you are ashamed of today will become your symbol of honor tomorrow are you ready to pray let's stop here tonight